Hello, today we are going to draw an oval given the length of its two axes, which can be seen at the top left hand side of our screen. Line segment AB and CD. The first step we are going to do is to situate these two axes. So to start we will draw a horizontal straight line in the middle of our screen. And mark a point A on the left side of this line, as can be seen here. Now we are going to transport our larger axis AB onto our horizontal line. Setting our compass to the length of the axis AB, we will now transport it onto our horizontal line. Setting our compass on A and scribing point B on the horizontal line, as shown here. So now that we have the horizontal axis AB, we are going to work out its perpendicular bisector, because this is where our second smaller axis CD will be located. To draw this perpendicular bisector, firstly we must draw two arcs which are centered on both ends of our axis AB, as can be seen here in the video. These arcs are going to have the same radius, the only condition is that the length of the radius must be longer than half the length of the axis AB. These arcs intersect at two points, which we will join to obtain our perpendicular bisector. This perpendicular bisector cuts the axis AB at a point which we will call zero. So the next step is to work out the perpendicular bisector of the smaller axis CD, so as to work out its midpoint. As the smaller axis CD is located on the top of our screen, we are going to use a different method to work out its perpendicular bisector, because we don't have enough space to use our previous method. So we are going to draw four arcs with two different radiuses, one radius for the first two arcs and a slightly shorter radius for the second two arcs. The first two radiuses will intersect each other at a point, while the second two radiuses will intersect each other at a different point. So now we join these two points with a line, and this line will be the perpendicular bisector, as shown here. This perpendicular bisector cuts the axis CD in half at the midpoint M. Using our compass set on point M to D, we will transport this length onto the vertical bisector above and below the midpoint zero, as can be seen here in the video. Now I have the two axes of our oval located correctly. The next step is, with our compass centered on zero and with a radius OA, we will scribe an arc to the right until it cuts the vertical bisector and we will call this point A1. So now we join this point A to point C. Now, with our compass centered on point C and with a radius C A1, we are going to scribe an arc to the left until it cuts our previously drawn line AC at a point we will call A2. Or A with two hyphens as seen here in the video. The next step is to calculate the perpendicular bisector of the line segment A A2. To do this, we use the first method, drawing two intersecting arcs above and below the line segment A, A2, as can be seen here in the video. We try to keep these arcs as small as possible so as to not clutter the drawing. So now we draw the perpendicular bisector, which will intersect our two axes at points 0, 1 and 0, 2, as can be seen here in the video. These points will 
will be two centers of our oval. So now we must obtain the mirror image of these two points. To do this, with the compass set on the origin 0 and with radius 0, 0, 1, we scribe an arc to the right which cuts our horizontal axis AB. Now, with our compass set on the origin 0 and radius 0, 0, 2, we scribe an arc to the left until we cut our vertical axis CD. These two new points will be called 0, 3 and 0, 4, as can be seen here in the video. So now we are going to join 0, 2 to point 0, 3, and we will prolongate this line as can be seen here. We will repeat this process by joining points 0, 4 to 0, 1, and prolongating this line also, as can be seen here. And finally, we join points 0, 4 to 0, 3, again prolongating this line as can be seen in the video. So, the last step is to draw the four arcs that make up our oval. With the compass centered on point 0, 1 and radius 0, 1a, we will draw the left side of our oval, as can be seen here in the video, until it cuts our previously drawn prolongations. As you can see, I'm going to use a thicker line to draw these arcs. So now, with the compass centered on point 0, 3 and the same radius 0, 1a, we will draw another arc, which will be the right side of our oval, as can be seen here. The next step, we will draw the third arc with our compass centered on point 0, 2. And finally, with our compass centered on point 0, 4, we will finish drawing our oval. Here you have the oval made up of four independent arcs with four independent center points. The contact points of these arcs are aligned with their centers and because of that there are tangent points. We will assign the letter T for tangent point to these four points. Okay, I hope this video has helped you and we will see you again. Press like or subscribe to our channel. Thank you.